hey waffle gang i do hope you are well my name is mark and today we're checking out some more reddit stories and if you do love a reddit story why not consider in a like subscribe maybe that notification bell too but let's crack on with today's first story much love guys now today's first story comes from she's chaotic good 6599 and says would i be the asshole here if i stepped down from being maid of honor to my brother's wedding after my future sister-in-law implied I will ruin it because I'm not as pretty as I was in my 20s. Look, my brother, male 38, Aaron, is super smart book-wise but can be a fool when it comes to affairs of the heart. I'm not mad at him about this and I don't want to hurt him but Heather, female 27, is a Sith Lord of a woman. Powerful, manipulative and ugly underneath their masks. It sucks more because I introduced them. Heather and I, female 32, met playing Dungeons and Dragons and we stayed in touch after that group disbanded. She met Aaron at my birthday party and they dated in secret for a year before telling me and our mutual friends. They got engaged at my next birthday party and he asked me to be his best woman, a female best man, because he and I have always been incredibly close and Heather frowned at him and said, that was ridiculous. And I obviously should be her maid of honor, since we're friends and a female, and women go on the bride side. The moment became awkward, and I told them I'm happy to stand for them on either side, because at the end of the day, it's about them as a couple, not the individuals. Whatever they wanted worked. I'm an idiot. I can list in great detail all the disturbances in the force that should have told me she was far more trouble than she was worth even if she was encrusted in diamonds, but my brother had been deliriously happy, and I rolled a one on insight, I guess. The short list of problems was that Heather assumed the maid of honor is also the wedding planner, point of contact of the bride, free makeup artist, and pays for the bridesmaid's dresses and the bachelorette party. I compromised by committing to doing the makeup for free. I did modeling in my 20s and know how to make do, help plan the wedding with her and my brother, but could not financially pay for the dresses she wanted. I would pay for mine, but not the others. And the party, so I offered to do one, and she picked the dresses, the more expensive, and I paid it without complaint. She had all the bridesmaids except for me pay for the whole bachelorette trip, even those who couldn't come, but blasted me in the group chat about it like apologizing for the cost of the trip. Since OP is not financially contributing, which led to the girls asking me how and why I ended up not paying anything. Things like that kept happening. I'm going to pause here and say my brother is a senior staff engineer at a huge tech company and teaches programming at a huge school, so he makes plenty of money. When I asked my brother why he wasn't helping pay for stuff at the wedding, he looked incredibly puzzled and asked what I meant. I immediately shut up realizing I stepped in it and he said Heather insisted she pay for her half of the wedding and they joint pay the joint parts, cake, venue, etc. To say to her haters, she's not marrying him for his money. I know I'm the arsehole for stepping in that one, I admit. There's more, but I don't want this to be a novel, so I will just jump to the part I might be a moral arsehole for. I hosted the bridesmaid and Heather at a planning party. She wanted and we sat working on odds and ends and drinking lots of wine. When one of the girls, Amber, female 20, asked if she can change her hair color. Her own wedding is coming up and she got a long waitlisted spot with a salon on her wish list to dye her hair and she wanted to go red. Note, I am black and use weave to shade and style my hair in crimson red twists. Amber said she would want about my shade and that it complemented my skin tone. Heather chuckled a bit at that and kind of looked at her like, what? And said that it was fine and she's no bridezilla, but she'd prefer only one of us to look that tacky. I felt hurt as Heather knew me before I went red years ago and back then told me how great I looked and that I glowed and now I'm tacky. I asked her if she meant it that way and she shrugged and said, it's about the people, not how good they look, she said. I didn't get it and the other girls started chiming in and Heather just said, Oh my god, calm down, I didn't mean anything wrong. I won't let OP ruin my wedding entirely, it's really okay. We all are going to start looking different in our 30s etc. 
I was the oldest of all the girls there and I kind of chuckled it away and said, Heather was the one who gives me compliments on how much I still look young and like I did when I did fashion modeling. Nothing big, just commercials and small local runways as it was once my dream to be like on Victoria's Secret or whatever, lol. And she snorted something like, you can't do runway now and you know it. Okay, at this point I flat out asked her if she had something to say to me and she said that since I'd been so sensitive about her asking me to do things, being a wedding planner, paying for the party, etc. For her wedding, she didn't want to bring it up, but she wanted me to change my look back to when you were so pretty like when we met. That meant going back to my natural light brown hair, losing weight, I'm 5 foot 7 and 120 pounds, and wearing shapewear to fit in a smaller dress. And she said, look at these lovely ladies, right? It would mean a lot to me if you could all shine up there. I said that was hurtful and I liked how I look now. I had lots of body issues trying for that dream in my 20s and skipped meals, drank too much and worse and hated my body. Now, I do have curves and I love them. I offered to wear a wig for the wedding if my hair color was an issue and she just got quiet and changed the subject. To keep from everyone watching me get upset, I just shook the wine bottle and laughed something about it getting empty and saying I was going to the kitchen to get a fresh bottle. Heather was there after a couple of minutes and started saying, hey, you know I love you no matter how good you look, babe. And I just shot, and I just shot, but I looked tacky. And she shrugged and said that's why she didn't want to ask me. She knew I wouldn't focus on anything other than perceived slight. I handled her the new wine bottle to bring in and I stepped outside to calm down. It's still on my mind. The wedding is this summer and I'm kicking myself for being sensitive. It's messing with my head. Now I can't even dream of standing up in front of everyone. We all know in a bright dress. The maid of honor is in a different color and cut than the other bridesmaids. The way I am, but a part of me thinks I am letting her under my skin and should not worry about how I look. I don't want to be maid of honor regardless though. Would I be the arsehole if I stepped down? I don't even know what I would tell my brother. Sorry for the nerdy references. It's a coping mechanism. Opie edited the post and said, a couple of FHQs and things I didn't think to add. Brother has a prenup. It wasn't really a trust thing, but he just figured it would be there for them to point at and rub off the rumors that she is with him for money. And I am told she enthusiastically agreed. She does not have a full-time job. She works retail and does some theater work at my job as an actor. She lives with her sister and sister's spouse in the city as she is in school. She took a few years get from high school to college. Her sister is kind of how we met as she is part of my gaming group. I do not work in software, nor do I make a lot of money compared to my brother. I'm single and live alone and make okay money in non-profit theater to survive. Aaron and I don't have any other family. We've been each other's family after I came out as bisexual and our grandfather disowned me. Aaron went no contact out of support for me. We are also not biological siblings as Aaron is adopted and I am a miracle baby. Our dad walked out when I was a kid and our mum passed away when I was a teen. And OP does give us a full update in a moment. Absolutely step down from this. She just seems like an absolutely awful person. Saying all these awful comments to you. And then, you know, when you go to the kitchen and stuff, she comes in and says, oh, you know, I love you, don't you? Like making you feel like you're being too sensitive about it, which you are absolutely not. She is awful. And, you know, I would certainly consider telling your brother about what she's been saying about you and to you. And that's pretty much the gist of OP's post of the comments as well. That they're saying, you know, tell your brother that you're not being sensitive in the situation at all. She's just being absolutely awful. But OP comes in to update the post and says, I tried to write this update on my original post, but it got too long. So sorry, I'm a bit emotional. And at this point, tipsy and shares the link to the post. I immediately cop comments saying the similar thing that I would be the asshole to not tell my brother the truth. It was devastating and I admit some of the comments were worded in a way that really hurt but at the end of the day I was asked if I was okay with Aaron marrying a person who will hurt him and something in my brain clicked. I love my brother more than anything and I realize now I was being spineless and selfish to not come to him with this. From the beginning of me being made of honor Heather monopolized my time. I can pinpoint exact moments I was slowly pushed out of 
regular contact with Aaron. If I was not working or doing my side gigs, all my time was on the phone with her or putting the bill at dinners and lunches with her over the wedding. Someone mentioned that she was trying to keep me and Aaron from spending time and realized they were right. Anytime I called him and she was there, she would take the phone to talk wedding stuff, etc. I'd be so worn out at the end of my days, I wouldn't even reply to texts. Feel so stupid. I was a coward and so afraid of losing my only family, I forgot to be family to him. And that's hard to even type, but it's true. Aaron called me early. Apparently a bridesmaid who was at my house the night I mentioned in my last post. Sophia, female 26, who is one of our good friends, apparently suggested he reach out to me. And when he asked why, she didn't say. I didn't realize, but I've been miserable since that party at my house. I didn't know how much I seemed off. It was brought to my attention how far out I seemed in public and how withdrawn I've been in general. Aaron called and asked if I was alright. I know the wedding is stressful. Heather has been a wreck. And I snapped and just started crying and hung up. He was at my place within the hour and I told him everything. I don't remember seeing him so mad in my life. I'm skipping a bunch to be brief. He asked me how much I spent on the wedding and I just handed him my phone with my bank app and the bridesmaid chat all open. And he scrolled and asked why I would not mention this to him. I explained and he shook his head. He wrapped me in a hug and told me not to worry and ordered us food. After he left, Sophia texted me and Aaron in a new group chat with the three of us as some recordings from when she was making TikToks and the like in various bridesmaids events with Heather in the background and nothing more. I saw it indicated Aaron saw it, but he hasn't said anything yet other than I will use a fake name for myself as I have the others. Francesca, turn off your phone if you can. I will drop by tonight. I put my phone on do not disturb and I'm on my couch drinking and waiting. Quick random update. I'm a bottle of wine in so forgive my dyslexia. I'm doom scrolling Reddit and Facebook and Heather has blocked me on Facebook through an app for my texts. I can see she's texted many times. I've opened nothing and won't until Aaron arrives. In the meantime, I am truly in good tears over your support and advice. I was never a strong person. That was our mum. But you and my friends make me feel strong and I cannot express my gratitude. I will update when I can, but maybe tomorrow as I'm passing that line of tipsy into more than tipsy. Lol. But seriously, thank you all so much. Another little update that says my Venmo popped up and Heather's sister Haley just sent me money. No description on it, just a bride emoji. Also, Aaron says he's on his way. As I'm on Facebook, I'm seeing more of the girls in the bridal party in different chats having issues with Heather. I am more of an Insta and Twitter gal, so never even saw it. I'm messaging them back now. Editing and to say, I'm trying to post the update but having issues. May have to make it two separate posts. Opie's next post was called background info and said sorry for the long updates, shared a link again and says, Star date the next morning. You'll encourage my nerdy side. Sorry, lol. Happy weekend, everyone. I was shook at how much my notifications blew up more than the Death Star. Bear with me as I sort through everything because it's a lot. And I had a lot of wine last night and stress drinking, and today I'm slightly paying for that, lol. I'm dyslexic, but will do my best here and try to take my time. First, some background that came up in the comments. Some of you called it, but yes, I suffer from an abusive relationship myself. He doesn't even deserve a nerdy fun name, so we'll just call him Jeff. Jeff was an emotionally and physically harmful to me and encouraged my dieting in my 20s, constantly calling me fat, etc. And that was him being nice. Whenever I tried to leave, he would either intimidate or gaslight me or both. The short of it is, Aaron finally figured out what was happening as I'd gone so low contact with him let's just say you wouldn't like Aaron when he's angry. Jeff is so far in my rear view, one would think he's a mirage. Also, I finally watched all the recordings Sophia sent Aaron and I. They were just snippets that she never posted due to lighting, noise or something being said that she didn't want on the internet, but with Heather somewhere in it or heard in the background. Not all of it was her hurling insults at me, as some are from outings I could not attend and she put down others. I mentioned before Sophia is close to both Aaron and I and we have sibling-like love for one another and also that Sophia is gay. One video is just Sophia holding her phone down as Heather explains why Sophia's girlfriend can't be in the wedding. You guessed it. 
Heather checked the homophobe box. She just hit big at bingo. I am so embarrassed I ever thought she was my friend. Many other videos were Heather's put downs to me. Sophia even managed to get the tacky convo from the point after Heather called me tacky the first time on. There is so much more to add. Now we'll put another update on what happened last night. So that update says, on to what happened. By the time Aaron got back to my place, I was less tipsy and more wine drunk. He looked at me and said I needed to lay off the celestial absinthe D&D joke. He looked exhausted. I apologized as I felt I had imploded his life and he snapped at me something like, don't you dare apologize for telling me the truth ever and went on about how hurt he was. I never told him about any of it. I apologized and he reminded me of Jeff and how bad things could have gone if he hadn't figured out what Jeff was doing to me. I suffered in silence and things could have been escalated and he could have lost me. I am all he has and he would never have forgiven me or himself. I told him he was right and from now on no lies and no secrets between us. He made me pinky swear like we did when we were kids. He then told me what happened. He got to his house and listened to every single one of the recordings. He sent himself items and screenshots from my phone, including all the payments he could find of what I spent and calculated it. He wrote me a check and the total is staggering. I don't know if everyone is like this, but sometimes it is hard to keep a running tally on a specific expense over time. If you just spend a little here and a little there over a year, but let's just say the check will replenish my lost savings and then some. He then called Heather over the guise of wanting to have dinner with her. When she arrived, he was sitting in his living room and acting casual. He was recording the whole conversation on his computer nearby where he teaches tech so the audio was perfect when he played it back to me, except for when Heather was moving about his house doing things here and there in other rooms as she talked to him, but he stayed on the couch by the desk. He was casual and asked about the wedding planning. She lamented how much there was to do, but how excited she was. He asked about me. How is Francesca doing? I haven't been able to catch up with her. And Heather said something about how she is trying to coach me on being a maid of honor, but that it's fine. And she just wants him to be happy and have his adoptive sister in the wedding. Aaron and I never use the word adoptive. He is simply my brother, adopted or not. I never knew she used that term when I wasn't around. I can't quite pin it down as to why. There's nothing wrong with him being adopted or anything, but it just didn't sit well with me. He kept it chill, asking her questions he already knew the answers to, and she clearly would lie to him. He brought up the money and maybe he should contribute since he does make more and he doesn't mind. That's when the big lies happened. She claims to have worked many shifts and saving a lot of money and the like to pay for her half. And she blamed me on the super expensive bridesmaids dresses claiming I made a big deal about not looking my best in the much more affordable dresses she had wanted etc. But made it out like she compromised by yielding to what I wanted even though it was more expensive. I'm making this really short but she made me out to be this diva how I must talk him into buying me expensive things. And that the bachelorette was going to be her biggest expense because I'm a city girl and would not stand for a small dinner which is what Heather wanted absolute wookie poo poo <laughs> but whatever aaron toyed around a little longer before saying hey you should come listen to this i started playing some of the videos you can hear heather saying things like who is that that sounds like me but that's not me but he kept playing them until she just goes what is this about he said he knew the truth and has given her the chance to tell him the truth she pretended she didn't know what he meant and aaron just said allow me to be very clear I know you've been lying to me. So tell me the truth. She started crying and asked him why he's doing this to her and asked what she did to deserve this and he got angry. He stated lying wasn't even the worst but how he treated me, his sister and Heather's supposed friend. A lot was said between them but he never raised his voice and at one point she was screaming and he said, I won't even speak to you if you're just going to yell. They argued more and he told her to get out and that the wedding is off. He said he expects her to pay me and him back for all the expenses or he will bring her to court. And as she was crying, he called her sister Haley to tell her that Heather is on her way back home and laid out everything. Haley knew exactly why they were calling it off. The recording ends there, but according to Aaron, he put Heather's things in her sister's car for her. 
Yes, I am pettily specific about Heather not owning a car and locked her out. And she stayed at the door crying for a minute and left. Aaron says he took a moment to cool down when the drama started back up. Out of all the bridesmaids, only one was singularly Heather's and not a mutual friend of ours or a friend of mine or Aaron's. Kim hated me at the very beginning because she is Heather's true best friend. And she should have been the maid of honor, but made up some crap that I threw a fit. I wasn't important in the wedding, so long-suffering Heather bent a knee and made me maid of honor. I called Aaron and yelled at him that Heather is at her house heartbroken and depressed because the other girls lied to him to make her look bad. Heather is willing to forgive him and take him back, but he needs to acknowledge the truth. She said Heather would only get mean to defend herself from us ganging up on her, and that Kim witnessed it firsthand. She told him I was the worst one and would make snide remarks to Heather about taking my brother away from me and how now I was alone and had no one. She implied something else that I won't repeat here because it's disgusting. But <clears throat> Luke and Space Mum, if you know, you know. Then she dropped that Heather is also pregnant and the stress cannot be good for her or the baby. Aaron said that he was almost considering talking to Heather and seeing things from her perspective because he was dumb and he did think he had loved her. But it was the last parts that snapped him out of it. He said if Heather perceived she was being attacked, he almost felt bad. He also knew me well enough to know that I am far too non-confrontational. Then wham, baby. He told Kim that it's not possible as Heather's rule was no intercourse until marriage and he respected that but now Kim and Heather are claiming that he was drunk one night and he and Heather did the deed and must not remember as he was practically passed out for most of it. Which I won't begin to even touch that here but I've never felt more angry in my life. Aaron doubts this as he has never been so drunk. He would forget things and on top of that i would she keep it a secret from him after the fact more to it but those are the cliff notes it was late and sophia couldn't come over so we facetimed her to thank her she and her girlfriend were eager to hear what happened and aaron told the whole thing over again and sophia's girlfriend letty told aaron to immediately demand a medical confirmation of pregnancy and a paternity test as well as heather pinned down the when and where she reminded Aaron that he has cameras all over his home and in the main room, so this can easily be disproven. But to also tread carefully because she can see a mile away that if Aaron refuses to be conned by that medusa ass homeworld or wannabe, she will try to spin it, making him an aggressor. She is pre-law and her dad's an attorney, so Aaron will call him today and will speak to Heather only through his attorney going forward. We also opened some of Heather's texts to me together and screenshot each one, but I was sleepy because of the wine and fell asleep. When I woke up, Aaron was on my tablet still reading and screenshotting and he seemed oddly chipper. I asked what's up and he informed me that Heather's sister Haley reached out and she'll be going to the doctor with Heather to see if Heather is really pregnant. Haley is doubtful as she never mentioned it nor has Haley noticed any signs. It seems Haley is on her side and over her shit. He also wants to thank Sophia and the other bridesmaids for helping us and is thinking about keeping the venue and just having a party in place of the wedding, but he isn't sure. Honestly, I don't think he slept and looks awful, so I cancelled all my plans and going to make sure he rests and takes care of himself. Nothing has been decided, but he now sees how manipulative Heather can be. I know he is heartbroken, but he's putting on a face for everyone. I know far too well eventually he will need to mourn the relationship and I am determined to be here when he does. I think that's everything for now. I wanted to share with everyone who's been so supportive of us, even if it meant kicking me in the pants to get me to be honest with my brother. For my fellow brown coats and rebels, thank you. For, thanks for helping me feel a part of the broader nerddom. <laughs> it feels awesome. Oh, dearie me. I can't help but feel that's not the end of this story from sister-in-law. She just sounds like someone who's gonna keep coming back time and time again. Also, not particularly smart for some of the stuff that she's admitted in this update as well. I hope brother continues to keep documenting everything he's receiving from her. But what do you guys make of this one? I love the nerdy stuff that OP keeps adding into their post. It did make my day. But what do you guys make of this situation? What would you advise to the OP? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories, your love, your support, your time, 
always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so, so much for being involved. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care and much love.